Um, my name is Matthew Phillips of NJ Phillips. I'm just going to run through the benefits, features, priming and cleaning of the 50mm repeater applicator. The applicator comes in the bag. I'll just remove it from the bag. Inside we have the applicator. The leaflet which refers to the applicator runs through instructions for setting it up, cleaning, sterilising and how to use. Also a leaflet specifically for injection, safety points, sterilising and cleaning as well on injection. And there is also a spare o-ring in the bag for the piston. So it's important you keep hold of that. The applicator has a 50 mil capacity. The slide here is used to lock the push rod when it's in use. So I pull that slide back, that allows me to pull the push rod back. When the applicator is actuated, this slide moves forward and that allows the ratchet to stop the push rod pushing backwards during use. So if you're injecting an animal and it goes into a site that has a bit of pressure there into a muscle and there's back pressure, this ratchet stops the push rod pushing backwards and missed dosing. So it's important that that is working so that the dose is correct. The dose is changed with this ring on top so this applicator has one, two, three, four, and five. They refer to the number of mil you will get per shot. So I have a 50 mil capacity, and I can deliver that in 50 one mil doses, or I can do it in two mil doses, three, four, or five. So that means that when I actuate the lever, five mil is injected into the animal. If it's on one, one mil is injected into the animal. The dose ring can be changed during operation depending if an animal is larger or smaller. So if you need to change the dose you can and you will not lose any of the product out the end. The applicator has a needle holder in the back so I can load spare needles into there and have them ready for use when I'm working with the animals. If I need a new needle, you pop that open and the needle's there. This applicator has a lure lock needle mount. So the needle is simply located on the mount and you screw it onto the front of the applicator. To remove the needle, you unscrew it. So I go in a clockwise direction to load the needle. So there's the needle loaded on. To remove the needle I then undo it anti-clockwise. To clean the applicator we remove the needle and with this applicator we would then draw clean water, clean safer water up into the barrel. So I can put it there and just a few times get rid of any vaccine. To load the applicator, I have a vaccine pack here. The applicator we would have it set there. We then load the needle into the pack. We would then slide the ratchet plate back and then we draw some of the fluid in, push back to get rid of any air and then slowly 
draw the mm, push rod down. I push that down. So that would draw the fluid into the barrel. I've gone past the 550 mil and then squeezed it. That's pushed this plate, the ratchet plate, back out of the way. That's also got the applicator set on 50 mil. So we pull the push rod all the way down and then we just squeeze it once to expel the air back into the pillow pack and it will set the dose ready on 50. So now all I have to do is decide what dose I'm going to do. If I'm going to do a 2 mil dose I would wind that round to 2 mil and I'm now ready to come up to the animal, go in, do the dose and then off I go. So walk up the animal and do the dose. So that's how we use the applicator. On the, to change the O-ring on the barrel, if it needs to be replaced with the spare one that comes with the kit, we simply grab hold of the cylinder and unscrew it. We remove the O-ring off the push rod. The new O-ring would go back on some of the NJ Phillips lubricant around the piston is important and then back into the barrel and then screw the cylinder back up again. We just do it up firmly, it does not have to be over tightened and you want the graduations in line with the top of the barrel there. So we now have the cylinder back on, the piston o-ring is replaced the dose is set by lining it up with the little arrow on top here. I've explained the ratchet and that is what is used with this applicator. It's a quite a simple applicator and that's how it is used. Thank you.